to Cooking Fearless. I'm your fearless cook. My name is John. I hope everyone's doing well. Today we're going to have some fun because uh, we're talking baked beans. Baked beans, baby. I love baked beans. And this recipe actually uh, was created by my wife's father, Arthur Eaton. So these are Arthur Eaton's baked beans. And they are just, I don't even know how to begin to tell you. They're just fantastic. They're the uh, best baked beans I've ever had. And uh, we're going to go over how to make them, and then we're going to do uh, something I'm going to try, and I have not done yet before, so I'm excited about this. We're going to make uh, pigs in a blanket uh, using the uh, some gluten-free and keto-friendly uh, blankets. So uh, we'll give that a go as well. So I hope everyone's well. We're going to have some fun. Let's talk baked beans. First of all, you need to start off with a pound of dry navy beans. Dry navy beans, it's very important. Uh, you're going to rinse them and you're going to clean them and you're going to look for stones in them uh, first. You have to do this all the day before. Uh, after, after you have uh, everything rinsed and you've got all the bad beans out because you don't want any broken beans in there and certainly don't want stones. I can only imagine biting onto a stone. So you really need to go through these beans and take a look at them. After you have all of that done, you're going to rinse them uh, in a colander, and then you're going to put them into a pot for soaking. Uh, you're going to fill it up with water. Uh, fill, use as much water as, you, as the pot will hold. Uh, the beans will expand a little bit. It's not going to hurt anything. It's fine. Uh, but do that and let them soak overnight. You have to let them soak overnight. That's important. Uh, let's talk a little bit about... Um, Let's talk a little bit about how I like to use the Instant Pot, the pressure cooker. The baked beans are not something I would ever use on, uh, in a pressure cooker. Uh, it might work, it might not, I don't know, but I think it was the, the fact that the baked beans have to slowly cook for several hours is um, important. It, it helps get everything mingled in together. Also, I want to uh, say that I've tried making these baked beans in a crock pot. Uh, it did not work as, it worked, but it didn't work as well as doing it in the oven. So we are baking these bad boys. And that's not easy to say, baking these bad boys. Oh yeah. All right, so let's talk about the ingredients. So I've already mentioned uh, one pound of navy beans, uh, two onions, sorry, Mr. Burgess, uh, a quarter pound of salt pork. Now that's important. If you can't find salt pork, I've actually... Uh, at times not been able to find salt pork. Uh, bacon will work, a quarter pound of raw bacon, or uh, if you want to make this a little less fatty, turkey bacon, because I've done that as well. And that seems to work out okay um, too. The best flavor, however, is using that salt pork. So you want a quarter pound of salt pork, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a quarter cup brown sugar, a teaspoon of dried mustard, and two and a half to three tablespoons of molasses. Now you might have figured out from these ingredients, just the fact that they're beans alone, that this is not a keto friendly dish. That's absolutely correct. I haven't made this dish in a while because it's not keto friendly, but I'm very, very excited. Yeah, baby. So we're gonna have some fun uh, doing that. Uh, so let's start off with draining the beans. I've had the beans soaking overnight. Um, so I'm gonna drain them and uh, then we're gonna start adding the ingredients. All right, so I'm taking the beans, and I'm just going to strain them just like this. Now these beans just about doubled in size. Oh, so everyone's aware of it. I'm actually making a double batch of this. Because um, that's what I do. Uh, everything I'm giving you as far as the ingredients goes for a single batch, but I'm doing a double batch. And we just lost some beans. Okay. So that's the beans that are drained. And uh, as I said, they're navy beans. All right, so beans are drained, soaked overnight. Preheat your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. 250, that's important. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the ingredients in here, and then we're gonna add some hot water to it, and then we're gonna bake it. But let's talk a little bit about how I have the ingredients lined up. Uh, it's actually uh, a French term. It's a mise en place which is French for everything in its place. And it's how I kind of like to 
it's prep work essentially. It's, it's, it's getting everything ready to go before you actually construct it. I like it because it's much easier for me to do this, uh, get everything on, a, on the container or the bowl or, or the plate or whatever, and then just put all the ingredients away. And then I have everything that I need. I don't have to measure it out as I'm doing it. I don't think it takes um, any more time. I do think there are far less mistakes on my part. So uh, that's important to me. All right, so what I'm uh, going to do now is uh, I'm going to put the salt pork and the onions in with the beans. And then I'm going to work it to the bottom. That's right, I just walked off camera. Well, maybe I didn't walk off camera. I don't know. Then I'm going to work it to the bottom of the pot. And this is just a matter of trying to get it all down to the bottom. You're going to have things that are trying to escape. Help me, help me! But we don't want uh, to worry about that too much. Just uh, get it down to the bottom as much as you possibly can. Now you notice I'm doing this in a cast iron Dutch oven. Uh, what traditionally is used, believe it or not, is a bean pot. Um, and the bean pots are great. The problem is the bean pot uh, isn't very large and for a double batch, this is actually uh, perfect. It's heavy, it's got a heavy lid that goes on top of it, so it works uh, very well for that. Next what we're gonna do is we're going to fill this with hot water to right about here. So I will be back. After you've got that water in there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. And you wait until you add the water because we're talking sugar, salt, spices, and molasses. And you want that to flow into the water. So put in the rest of the ingredients. Sing a little ditty as you do it. try and get everything even throughout, all throughout that water. You know, you don't want to have pockets of intense flavor and then areas where there's not a whole lot of flavor. So you just try and get that water just completely stirred up. All right. Got everything here. We're going to put this lid on it. It's a cast iron porcelain coated Dutch oven, so this works very well for this. So we're just going to put it into the oven. For six to eight hours. So let's get that timer set. I recommend checking it every couple of hours. I'm going to actually set it right now for six hours. Um, check it. If you have to add water, make sure, because uh, it's getting down but the, the bean is still tough, uh, make sure you use boiling water. That's important. Uh, boiling water is already at temperature. It doesn't have to cool off and then cook up again. So use boiling water if you have to do that. I recommend maybe having some boiling water on hand so you can go ahead and do that uh, in advance. What else do we got? I think that's about it. So in several hours, I'll bring you back in and we'll see how it looks. And uh, in the meantime, uh, we're going to make some uh, pigs and blankets. I'm very excited about that. All right. Hi. All right, so I've, uh, it's several, several hours later. And I've gone and uh, pulled out the beans and everything. They, uh, the bean is nice and tender, which is fantastic. Uh, it's got some good flavor to it. It's got some good color. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Actually, I'm going to probably 
put it in the screen up above me so you can see it, or over here, I have no idea where it puts it. But uh, this way you have an idea of what it looks like. And then uh, I'll go in and we'll uh, give it a try and see how it All tastes. Right, so I took the beans out and uh, you saw me do that. And uh, we're going to give those a shot right here, right now. Let's try that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, this is one of the pigs in a blanket. I've actually eaten this a couple of times. I'm not going to eat this because I'm running out. It's actually for dinner. Um, but it is actually quite good. Uh, the flavor's there. The, the texture's there. It is a little crumbly. So when you bite into it, it tends to follow apart a little bit. So I have to experiment with that and uh, work that out. But beyond that, I thought it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with it. So, what have we learned today? Well, we learned that uh, it takes a long time to make beans. It does, especially if you uh, don't cheat. I don't recommend putting them in a pressure cooker. Um, I've not done it. I would uh, hazard to guess as to how long to time it for and everything, because those beans, even though they soak overnight, are still hard. Uh, make sure you do soak the beans overnight. Um, make sure that... Uh, you give yourself plenty of time to put it together because after the beans soak overnight, it still takes, and after you get the ingredients in, it still takes a good five to seven hours to uh, do it at 250 degrees. It's not a very high temperature. It's low on purpose. So uh, give it a try, enjoy it, take some pictures of it. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. If uh, you like them a lot, share them with your friends. All right, folks, have a good one and uh, cheers.